Lately, we've been getting some off-branded Ford stuff, and today, Chevy guys get their day. What's going on, everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel, and welcome to New Mods for Farming Simulator 19. Today, we got 26 mods for you. For all platforms, we have 8 new and 16 updates. We got 16 updates. For console only, we have 1 new. At PC and Mac, we got 1 update. Let's check them out. First up today, new mods for all platforms. We have a new map, the Faxino map. They say this map is based in the southern region of Piranha. Map comes with two cultures. Not sure what that means. And comes with three points of sale and a lime station. And as, as you can see, uh, there's not a whole lot of much else other than a couple trees, a little bit of grass, and a whole lot of fields. Oh yes, let's take a look at the PDA because this thing's insane. Check this out. Oh yeah, uh, these are massive. Uh, $2.2 million, $2.7 million, $2.6 million, $1.4, 700,000, one point. I mean, you get the idea, it's absolutely massive. Right here is going to be your main farm. So you've got field number two, plus you have your main area. We've also got a pretty cheap field right here, 172,000. So, uh, see, that's actually going to be right here. So, this map or this field right here, you could probably buy this, be okay. Here's your main farm. I like it. It's not too bad. This is definitely a South American map. You can see the red dirt, everything, and the trees. I mean, it's beautiful, but South America, here you go. So, boom. Ooh, got a little pond right here as well. All right, all right. I dig it. I dig it. Neat little area, man. Yeah. This is cool. It feels lived in. It feels like home. It feels like, you know, you moved your house to the top of a hill and you're like, you know what? I'm going to build a farm here. And you just start building the farm there. I like it. Let's take a... Well, we already looked at the PDA, didn't we? It's super early this morning. I'm already mentally checked out. We got a bunch of big stuff on this map. So we have the Stara ST Max 180. Got to make K-Bot happy. Then you've got the John Deere 8400R. You got the Massey 8737, so you got the big engine in both of these. Plus, you have the John Deere CR 1090. You've got a big tipper, nice big header. Although that's not the largest New Holland header, you've got room to grow. You've also got a good New Holland corn header as well. But again, that's not the biggest header that you can get in game, so you still have room to grow. And that, that's something you never see a <laughs> horse cruiser you got the pronto in here as well to get a nice fertilizer spreader and then we have our cow pasture and our sheep pasture those are going to be located here and you can delete those if you want to if you don't want them if you don't want them there maybe you don't want the sheep here delete the sheep and then come back through and put another building down or maybe put another silo or whatever you'd like to do hey it is all up to you Really cool map. If you guys want some big fields and a very interesting landscape, this is probably going to be the map for you guys. Your next new mod for all platforms today is going to be the Verneo Brazil. This is also going to be known as the Lizard Van if you guys are on consoles. However, everything is exactly the same, minus the fact that you probably notice if I tab back and forth between the two. One goes from Chevy to Lizard. So unfortunately, as you know, Chevrolet is not a licensed brand for farming simulators, so that will not be available on consoles. However, if you guys are on PC, you will have that. Let's go through the customization. 200 horsepower, 70 liters of fuel, 49 miles per hour. Main color? Well, we got a bunch of main colors. Pretty standard stuff through here. You know what? Let's go with a uh, orange. I like that. Design color. This is actually going to be the roof. So uh, on top, I'd probably just go with white. The wheels are white and you can't change the wheel color for some reason. So I would just leave that same color as the wheels. Make it look good. Designs. So we're going to start with standard. We have square headlights, rounded headlights, or no extra headlights. In the wheel setup, we have a standard, we have a wheel one, and a wheel two. So you got a couple different things through there as well. The rims will stay the same. Just the uh, tire itself will change. Pretty sweet. Next, we got something that we've been wanting to see for a while. Whiskey Sierra Modded. Congratulations, brother. He's got his New Holland Workmaster Series here in conjunction with ADEB Modding and the ABP team. We got two of these. We've got a cabless version and a cab version. So, uh, yeah, I imagine this version is going to become very, very popular very quickly. Let's start with this one right here. 55 horsepower, 165 liters of fuel, 31 miles per hour. So, uh, not a ton of power. However, this 
He's a quick little boy. Rim colors. Well, you've got quite a few, don't you? We've got gray. Ooh, base game gray. Base game gray. I love you. And then we've got all kinds of blacks and stuff through there. So that is neat. We've got different whites, different grays, different blacks. You know what? I'm all for it. I like it. Let's go base game gray. Now it's New Holland. we got to go with white. Main color through here. You do have a couple different colors that you could choose from here as well. So choose what you like. We're just going to stick with the New Holland blue. Configurations. We have standard. We have 90 kilogram front weight. 100, 225, 405, 585, 765, 945, and then back to standard again. Wheel brands, we have trail board, Michelin tires. In trail board, we have standard wheel weight, wide tires, wides with weights, back to standard. And in Michelin tires, we have standard wheel weight, back and forth between those. Man, those Michelin tires look good. Let's leave them on that. Fenders, we have front fenders, yes or no. Beacons, we have left beacon, right beacon, both of them together or none. And then the engine, so we have 55, 65, 75 horsepower. So you can choose between those. And then front attacher, we have yes, we have the aloe, and then no. And then making our way over to the Workmaster Series open cab, same thing through here. So you've got the 55 horsepower, 165, and 31. You can change up your rim color, same rim colors there. You've got the same body colors. Actually, one thing... So it looks like part of the tractor changed colors, but the rest of it didn't. I'm not sure if this is something they meant to do, if this was a an oopsie, but just, just like, <laughs> whiskey, Sierra, the whole thing doesn't change. Is that on me? I don't know. Uh, let's go with a, uh, I was about to say, let's go with a blue here. Uh, DOT white. Yeah, let's go with a white one right here. Configuration standard. Okay, so this is going to be the exact same stuff through there. Wheels are going to be the same as well. So you've got those. Let's go with a... Uh, Let's go with standard wheel weight. Fenders, yes or no. Uh, canopy, you can add a canopy to this if you would like. Wheel setup or engines, yeah, same ones through here. And then front loader, same thing through there. So customization is going to be exactly the same on both of them with the exception of the color, not changing the entire tractor on the original Workmaster. This is a really cool mod. I can't wait to use this. Next, we have the Sammy Silver E and Lamborghini R5. These are from Black Eyes Modding, and this just adds to the massive amount of sammy and lamborghini tractors that they are releasing um yep uh, they are different at least so we could go over that 115 horsepower 210 liters fuel 24 miles per hour attacher joints we have standard with a weight front hydraulic and then back to standard again front hydraulic looks a little bit interesting but i think it's just because it's an older style wheel brands we have trail borg <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Uh, in trailer where we have standard wide tires, narrow tires, rear twins, twins all the way around, and back to standard again. And, and the rice tires. Arr, I love this. Um, the rice tires are on here because Black Eyes Official Modding, uh, they were the ones that brought us, I can't remember what the name of the map was, but it was an Italian map that you could do rice. You could flood the field. So these, these would be great tires to use on that map. Beacons, we have standard left beacon, Back and forth between that, that is it. And then the engine setup, we have 150, 130, 115, 130 horsepower. Similarly, I expect to see the same uh, customization here on the Lamborghini R5. 115 horsepower, 210 liters of fuel, 24 miles per hour. Tatcher joints exactly the same. Wheel setups are exactly the same. Beacons, the same. And the engine is, of course, exactly the same. It's just me or is the paint on this look a, bit, a little bit interesting? Maybe it's just me. Next, we have the RN8 or 8012 pack. Now, this is going to have the, the uh, carrier, which you guys see right here. We've also got a couple skips and some tanks as well. And it is manure system ready because the tanks, well, <laughs> you'll see. So let's start here. We've got the arm itself. You could change this arm up. This is your color palette. A little bit different than we've seen before. And I really like this color palette. Check this out. Yeah, man. Give it a little baby blue right there. Main color. Uh, see, it's showing gray right now. Let's, uh, let's go for a little white. That's going to be the frame at the bottom. Rim colors, of course. We all know rim colors are rim colors. And then design color. This is going to be the main body. So there you go. But that's just one part of this. This is also the part that's going to like go down, pick up the skip and the tank, and bring it back up. Next, we've got the skip. Now, this online says it costs two grand. Here it costs five grand. Don't think too much about it. Just look for the gray one because there are multiple different ones through here. Those belong with the man. 
This belongs with the 8012. 7,000 liter capacity of bulk crop, so you can do whatever you want. Main color, we've got the same color palette here, so you can make this match, change it up however you wish. Are those the hooks? Yeah, changing the color of the hooks, that's pretty cool. And then we finish with these four tanks right here. These are all going to have a 5,000 liter capacity, which is cool. And uh, they're pretty cheap as well. Uh, again, online they have these set as $1,500. Uh, these are $500 each. So you have a slurry tank, herbicide. You do one with milk or one with diesel. So these are going to be ones that you fill up and then you take to, uh, you know, out to wherever you're going. <laughs> Design color. Okay, so we've got the same color palette here. And we can actually change this up to show water, slurry, or digestate. Why water? Well, if you guys are using the manure system on PC, that automatically adds water to all slurry tanks. So there you go. There's that. Herbicide, I think the, yeah, these are all going to be set up the same way. But as you may know, between slurry and herbicide, they use a different hose. And they've actually shown that here. Milk, same thing through there. And then diesel, same thing through there. Looking good. We've also got an auger wagon pack for you guys today. This is the Lither Lizard Pack AUATF. So this comes with two different ones. You've got kind of a standard one and then more of like a uh, big beefy boy right there. So 17,500 liter capacity. Main color, you've got orange, green, yellow, and red. So pick whichever one you like through there. Rim colors, we've got base game gray, we've got yellow, and white. Would have been cool to be able to change these whatever color you want. I imagine some people are going to say, you know, oh, I wanted this color instead. I didn't want this color. So um, maybe we change those in future update. Wheel brands, we've got Lizard, Trelleborg, Michelin tires, back to Lizard again. And then the cover, you do gray, white, yellow. So I kind of get what they're doing here. The orange is probably like a Stara or, you know, something else. Green's more John Deere. Yellow's probably... Uh, maybe they're shooting for a uh, Challenger, perhaps. And then red is going to be Case IH. Or yellow could be New Holland as well. Um, but again, it'd be cool to let players choose whatever color they want through there. I imagine we're going to see the same thing through here. This is AU25, so 25,000 liter auger wagon. 110 horsepower is required for this. Yeah, main color, we've got yellow, green, and red. Rim color, white, gray, and yellow. So it looks like, yeah. Case, New Holland, and John Deere are the ones they're going for here. And then, of course, you've got the uh, auger there as well. Yep, same colors through here. I get it. It's cool. Next is the Fuel Tank Lizard T5000C, or as it's accidentally shown in game, the T500C. <laughs> I couldn't find it. I had the wrong name. Rim color here, you've got all of them, and the main color, you've got all of them. That's that's kind of the way I would do it on the previous mod. So you can choose however you like through here. Uh, let's see, do we have base game gray? We don't, but that's okay. It is what it is. So what does this do? Well, this is a fuel tank uh, and it is used to transport liquids. Now, unfortunately, as you can see, uh, it doesn't show anywhere what the capacity is. Online is saying that this is a 5,000 liter capacity trailer uh, and that the price is 8,500 bucks. I assume it'll hold fuel. <laughs> <laughs> Your next to last new mod today for all platforms is going to be the Agrimass APS40H. This is going to be a new cultivator for you guys. 120 horsepower is required, 4 meter working width, 9 miles per hour, and you could change up the roller on the back between tubular and tubular 2. Oops, my bad. That was actually the last new mod. Uh, let's move into mod updates for all platforms today, and they've actually added a new one since I started this video. So we're going to be just going in order. The first one is going to be adding in park. This is changelog 1.0. Point one, removed the trolleys from the bakery, adjusted all animal triggers as required, and a new save game is not required. So there you go. You could continue using your old save game and you'll be just fine. Next is the map for Palm and Rugen. This is going to be changelog 1.2.2. Oh yeah, farmhouse and sleep trigger been fixed. Wood chip spawn point has been fixed. Added vehicle, dealer, and gas station, as well as various cosmetic corrections. And an update to the map, Hollenschfell. This is going to be version 1.1.2. I believe this was the new mod that was released <laughs> a little bit late. Uh, added faster traffic. They also added more terrain texture, raised the trees, added a custom soil map for precision farming. So it is precision farming ready. Fixed some other smaller details and a new save game is recommended, but 
not required. I would still use a new save game for this. And your last map update, but we still have plenty of mod updates. This is going to be Riverside Farms for Missy B. This is going to be James Og 1.1.5. Fix vehicles on New Farmer. Minor fixes up there done. And this is the final update to the map. So uh, Riverside Farms will not be getting any more updates now we've got some mod updates for you the john deere w200 series from poly count modding can we just look at this for a minute god this thing looks good uh this is a big update version 1.2 added new original sounds added new lizard front tires added decal on the steering wheel Change the drop area, which is now narrower. Change the color on the steering wheel in dark brown. Fix collisions. Fix the color on a few parts. Fix the pivoting of the steering wheel. Fix the positive or position of the front lights. Fix the always on lights and joystick. And fix the position in the mirrors. Now you have a clear view of the road behind. So let's take a look here. So we have a grass tire. We have the uh, gripker. Back and forth between those and Lizard. Michelin tires, Midas tires, trailer board tires. You can literally choose whatever you want. Make it match your farm good to go really really happy about that you got an extra step on the bottom of course we've seen that and then the extra engine but i'm sure you guys want to see this on the field so let's go ahead and get one leased before we jump in just take a listen to this she's sounding good all right <laughs> let's unfold let's turn it on drop it down Oh yeah, higher worker. And then we have a nice, big, but nice uh, inside swath. So that's gonna be much, much easier for picking stuff up for you guys. Polycal mining again, knocked it out of the park, my dude. I love it. He also said, I believe in an earlier post, something like that, that further on down the road, there may be a larger cutter head for this, uh, but I don't think it's gonna happen in Farming Simulator 19. Hmm. Custom modding are back with us today with an update to their Case IH Tiger Made 255 filled cultivator. Before we jump in, this is one of, if not the most detailed cultivator that we have in the game. And if you didn't know about this mod, I hope now you do know about this. If you're using case equipment and you need a big cultivator, go ahead and download this. You will not be sorry. Now, let's move on with the update. This is going to be changed log 1.001. Fixed an issue with wheels not running in multiplayer and fixed compatibility bugs with other mods. So, should be all good to go. Again, details incredible. It's on all platforms. Check it out. We have an update to the MTW527. Oh, yeah. We just got this, didn't we? This is going to be change log 1.0.1. Model improvements. So, the tires were changed. Some decals were added. New engine color configuration for mtw case oh <laughs> let's go you've also got effect improvements new header trailer and to fix the fill volume and numbers have been added so there you go you got some numbers on there also uh, beforehand i had mentioned that i thought this was already out and it turns out this this right here this is the combine that was already out so that is my mistake an update to the fame day plows version 1.1 the seven has been added. Oh yeah, watch yourself. So the seven is here. This is a three meter plow. And of course you can change up the color if you wish as well. And we have all of them, all the colors. That's how you make them on good. All the colors. I like it, I like it, I like it. And we have an update to the Lizard UB Subsoiler. This is going to be version 1.0.1. .1. New options and new and improved texture. So what do we got? Well, we've got seven, seven with wings. 9, 9 with wings, 11, 11 wings, and back down. Plus, we have some colors as well. All of them. Nice. We also have an update to the Pitchfork Pack version 1.1. Added Manure Pitchfork, and we've got a new mod icon. Continuing along, we've got a few other things for you. I think we're like halfway done. Next is the Lieber TL 436-7 version 1.1. Fixed the speedo, added LED beacon light option. Grills are made transparent. Edge block has been added, and various bugs have been squished so let's uh take a look at that we say we've got beacon lights so we have a default and we have the led so we all know led is the new kind of thing so let's go with that and then they said the engine block as well you could see they definitely have made this transparent and added the engine block now my question would be is it like that on the version that giants added it is not so the giants version is not like that so this is now more higher quality than that one is check it out for those massey ferguson fans out there blue organ modding's got you covered today with an update to the massey ferguson 7600 
the big version. Oh yeah, version 1.3. Rims have been changed, new details and configurations been added, as well as a new store image added with the 7600 large chassis. 210 horsepower, 310 liters of fuel, 31 miles per hour. Rim color, we've got all of these, love it. Boom, main color, there you go, you got that. And then design color, you got these as well. That's going to be the grill parts. Change that to black. Configuration standard, 170, 280, 390, 500, 610, 720, front hydraulic, and then back to standard again. Wheel brands, we have Trailer Borg, Michelin tires, Midas, Nokian, Ed Trailer Borg, standard. Wheel, ooh, I like that. Wheel weights, wide tires, wides with weights, rear twins, twins all the way around, narrow tires. Literally all of them. Michelin tires, standard. Wheel weights, wides, wides with weights, rear twins, twins all the way around, back to standard. Midas tires, same thing through there. And then knock in just a road tire, that's it. Yeah, we're going with that right there. GPS receiver, no or yes. Transmission, we got the Dyna 6, the Dyna VT. So you can either go with a uh, like a gear shifty kind of thingy or a uh, VT, which is just going to be a variable transmission. Fenders, standard, wide fenders. Ooh, wide fenders look good. Engine setup, we have 210, 220, 240, 260, 280 horsepower and back down. Front attacher, we've got a no. Stole, Hauer, and then no. Beautiful tractor, check it out. Riverside Shed Pack's got an update, version 1.1.5, some minor fixes, and this is the final update. We also have an update to refurbished bunker silo. This is going to be version 1.1. Removed the uh, teared surface, adjusted the silo areas, new mask texture, and added double bunker silo. The Lenny Mountain Chalet's got an update, and I will say, no matter what anything on Mod Hub says, this is the only mansion that we have, okay? Well, this is Changelog 1.1. Clip distance has been adjusted, minor corrections on texture, the resolution's been increased, new lamps have been added in the garage, new door between the garage and the house, which is something that I had uh, said something about, and then furniture has been exchanged. $1.5 million, uh, yeah, it's a mansion, uh, and it's 30 meters by 40 meters. So in here, boom, we got lights. Did I turn it on? Ah, a little bit dim. That's okay. So we got a door right here. Nice, nice. Coming up the stairs. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Bouncing around. Nice kitchen. I would love to have a kitchen like that in my house. <laughs> and then coming up here to the main floor. I love it. I love it. I love it some more. Want this in real life? This is a gorgeous, gorgeous house. And then, yoosh right into the swimming pool yeah oh i'd get in trouble with that so there you go lenny mount chalet the update is here next to last update for all platforms finally the polish potato box version 1.1 corrected the sprinkling and your last mod update 17 later version 1.0.2 Textures have been changed, prices adjusted, and chopped material and salt has been added. Making our way into console only mods. Finally, we only got one of them for you guys. This is a mod that came out on PC a few days ago. This is the KZK6. We've got three versions of these. We've got the first one that is a weeder and it is also a fertilizer. Then we've got one that's a cultivator and a fertilizer. And then we've got one that just deletes fields. All the same customization with a few extra Caveat, so you could change up the color, of course. 300 liter capacity. That's going to be water, by the way. So just uh, fill it up with water, just like you would a tank, and it'll give you that weight and fertilizer. You'd be good to go. 70 horsepower required, 6 meter working with it, 12 miles per hour. Design. So basically, you've got a couple different rollers on the weeder and fertilizer, and on the cultivator and fertilizer, same thing. You've got a couple different setups there. And then as far as the field delete, well, this is the only one that you got, just rollers. And finally, your last mod today, we have an update for PC and Mac players on the mod extended tabbing. This is gonna be version 1.2, display of the tab targets extended by the two following and two preceding vehicles. The mod description has been updated, and of course, minor bug fixes. Well guys, that is going to be it for today's new mod video. That took forever. <laughs> it took me like an hour and a half to record, that's insane. 
insane. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it. Get subscribed to the channel if you're new and join the GoHam fam. Make sure you turn your notification bells on as well so that you never miss daily farming simulator videos here on the channel. Speaking of, if you guys haven't already, make sure you go check out the video I released yesterday showing off the new update coming with A2 Square Studios TLX Phoenix. You don't want to miss it. All being said, hope you have a great day. We'll see you later. Peace.